Hello, this is Solar PV TV once again from Dubai, from 8th uh, Desert Energy Leadership Summit. And now we are together with one of the speakers, with Jeremy Crane, CEO of uh, Yellow Door Energy, a Canadian guy who is based here in Dubai. Uh, hello, Jeremy. Hi, good afternoon. So just uh, to give, like, you know, short information about uh, Yellow Door Energy. I was supposed to say that it's IPP, but actually Jeremy would say that this is a private utility. Yes, Jeremy? Yeah, that's correct. We, uh, we consider ourselves a utility because we're servicing customers, both with solar and energy efficiency solutions. So we like to focus on the customer relationship and maintaining a long-term, uh, uh, as a long-term provider of, of services for them. But you are the owner of the systems, yes? Yes, that's right. So anytime a, a customer wants solar or energy efficiency, we'll make the investment and we'll own and operate, maintain it at no charge for the customer. They simply pay for the benefit they get. So in the case of a solar system, it's kilowatt hours that are generated on a daily basis. In the case of uh, energy efficiency, it's a shared savings uh, type arrangement. Uh, who are your customers? This is like uh, owners of houses or maybe this is like a uh, commercial customers? So we focus uh, on, commercial, on the commercial industrial segment. It varies a little bit depending on the market, but in Dubai it's primarily large industrials um, in the free zones, for instance. So someone like Unilever who's got a, a very large power bill and, and a CSR agenda, um, they, we will contract with them to sell them power for 15 years, for instance, and, uh, and generate on their site um, to, in order to save them money um, on every kilowatt hour they get from us. They're paying less than they would to, to the utility. And uh, what, what is the average size of the system that you install here in Dubai? In Dubai, our average contracted size is about 3 megawatts. Um, so it's quite large. We have some systems as small as, uh, as 400 kilowatts. But we have others as large as uh, one under construction right now is 6.4 megawatts. Uh, it's a combination of, of car park, about 4 megawatts of car park, and about 2 megawatts of rooftop. So Jeremy, I, I thought that uh, your company was like uh, founded here three, four years ago, but actually it's only uh, two and a half years old. But it's so active, yes, that, uh, that uh, that's why I was, I was thinking that it's a um, so, so old company. Yeah? But actually uh, in the solar business, it's a uh, quite old, yes, company. Um, well, we've been, uh, so I've been in the solar business for ages, <clears throat> and where Yellow Door came from actually was, uh, was I worked for a private equity group called uh, Adenium Energy Capital, uh, Dubai headquartered uh, international investor in, in solar energy, and about uh, in 2015, we took a decision to launch a commercial industrial focused company. And yellow, that's where Yellow Door got its, its formation. So about two and a half years ago. Um, but obviously we leverage the, first of all, the balance sheet. <laughs> and secondly, the relationships that Adenium has. And, and that's enabled us to, uh, to be the market leaders in terms of a volume of projects, both in Dubai and Jordan uh, at this point. So you are not only uh, working in the country, but you are also working in other countries, yes? That's right. Uh, so again, our headquarters is here in Dubai, and obviously there's net metering legislation, which makes it very viable here. But we're also looking at the other Emirates. Um, we've got some opportunities in Abu Dhabi, perhaps uh, Sharjah or Russell Cayman. Um, we have a very successful office in Jordan. Um, the Jordan uh, uh, suffers from a very high power price, and, and so we've helped many hospitals, uh, supermarkets, um, grocery stores in Jordan to reduce their cost of energy. Um, and now we're opening up offices in, in Africa, uh, one in East Africa in Kenya, another one on, uh, in West Africa in Ghana. And how would you compare, uh, let's say, African markets to this market in terms of uh, acquiring customers? Well, the cu customer acquisition um, is, uh, is different because the products are different. Um, in a place like Kenya, the price of power isn't too expensive. They might pay 15, 16, 17 cents. Um, but uh, security maybe is more important. Well, we, we definitely look for companies that have been there for a long time, um, and uh, and it's really important to um, in in Africa to have a product that's that's 
focus on their specifics. They don't have net metering in Kenya, for instance, so we need to make sure that our, our gen system size is so that is, is appropriate for self-consumption. And obviously that's a little bit smaller, um, and we have to maybe add in some battery backups or diesel backup if, the, if there's grid instability issues. So there's different, uh, different products for different countries. And uh, so far you installed or you own around 30 megawatts, yes? Yeah, well, <clears throat> we actually, uh, so we've signed over 45 megawatts of contracts with customers so far. Um, we currently have, uh, have three projects operating. Um, four under construction, and, uh, and a whole bunch more that are, are nearing construction. Um, so by the end of the year, we're going to be up to um, we'll have, uh, somewhere north of 10 megawatts operating and, uh, and growing very rapidly. I think 2018 is going to be a, a very exciting year for us. So what will surprise us in 2018 from your side? From Yellow Door's side? Well, I think, uh, honestly, the expansion in new countries, um, we have a lot of people calling, for instance, from Ghana and, and Pakistan, wanting us to come in, wanting us to, to help them. With the same business model? With a very similar business model. We see it being very applicable uh, even in other GCC countries. So I think the geographical footprint from Yellow Door is what's going to be the exciting growth. But we also have some really uh, high-profile customers that we're going to be excited to announce and talk about in the near future. Yeah, you were mentioning that one of your customers is uh, Unilever, yes? So do you mean also that, for example, if you have customer in one country, afterwards they would like to replicate similar uh, models in other countries, in their headquarters? Absolutely. I mean, it varies from country to country. Um, some, it's company to company. Some companies are very locally uh, procurement focused, but others, uh, we're dealing with some that have where we consider it a bit of a franchise. So we do a project for them in one place and we'll be able to replicate that. It's simpler for us and it's simpler for them once we have a, a contract structure in agreement. 2018, how many megawatts you will be having under operation? By the end of 2018, we're targeting 60 megawatts of, of operating projects. And uh, when will you have more than 100? 19? Uh, absolutely. By 2019, we'll be well over 100 megawatts and okay. on our way to a gigawatt. Okay, so thank you so much. Uh, that was Solar PV TV together with uh, Jeremy Crane, who is CEO of uh, Yellow Door Energy, uh, running now to realize uh, first 100 megawatts, yes, exactly. <laughs> in the near future. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching.